What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority, and Sony's latest flagship goes head to head with LG's latest flagship. This is the Z5 Premium versus the LG G4. When looking at these two devices, the first thing that you're gonna notice right off the bat is how different they are in terms of their design. With the Z5 Premium, we're looking at a metal and glass design, and it's the same iconic design that we've seen in previous Sony devices. So it's a clean rectangular slab uh, with metal around the sides and glass on the front and back, which does kind of make it a little bit of a fingerprint magnet. Uh, but the biggest change with the design is in the power button. It's no longer a circle anymore, and it's actually a wider button. And this reason is to accommodate for a built-in fingerprint scanner. And the fingerprint scanner in uh, my short time with it actually works extremely well. It's very fast and it's also very convenient because it's built right into the power button where your thumb normally sits. Uh, so it's actually a very smart move by Sony. The G4 on the other hand is entirely made of plastic or a combination of plastic and leather depending on which backing you decide to go with, but it still feels great in the hand. It's also very comfortable to use due to that slightly curved body. Both devices feature 5.5 inch displays, but as impressive as the Quad HD resolution is on the G4, the big story here is the 4K display on the Z5 Premium, which makes it the first phone in the world with a 4K display. And this results in a whopping PPI of 806, which is totally insane. There's no denying that the Z5 Premium has a very impressive looking display, uh, but there's definitely going to be a lot of debate as to whether 4K on a smartphone is necessary and what the impact is going to be like on battery life. Both of these devices are being powered by Qualcomm chipsets, so the Xperia Z5 Premium comes with a Snapdragon 810 with the Adreno 430, while the LG G4 comes with the Snapdragon 808 with the Adreno 418, but both come with three gigabytes of RAM. And performance is really good on both. The G4 is very smooth and fluid, and the same thing can be said about the Z5 Premium. So you're not gonna have any sort of performance issues on either one of these devices, no matter what it is that you're trying to do. For storage, you're looking at 32 gigabytes of onboard storage on both, along with expandable storage up to 128 gigabytes for the G4 and 200 gigabytes for the Z5 Premium. As far as any extra goodies are concerned, the Z5 Premium now comes with a fingerprint scanner integrated into the redesigned power button on the side. The button and scanner are ideally placed to make it easy to unlock the device using your thumb and is a pretty nice implementation compared to the more traditional placements up front and on the back. Also available on the Z5 Premium is dust and waterproof capabilities, which you don't get on the G4. Uh, so if you care about that sort of protection, the Z5 Premium is going to be the one you want to go for. Now, as far as battery life goes, the G4 is packing a 3000 milliamp hour battery, which is user replaceable and also comes with quick charge. The Xperia Z5 Premium comes with a 3430 milliamp hour battery, which is a pretty large battery, but it's also non-removable, and we also have no idea what sort of battery drain we're gonna see due to that 4K display. With the camera, you're looking at a 16 megapixel f1.8 aperture lens on the G4 and a 23 megapixel sensor on the Z5 Premium. The G4 has already proven to have a really great camera, especially with DSLR-like manual controls and the ability to shoot in RAW and JPEG simultaneously. The camera on the Z5 Premium looks promising, especially when you consider Sony's track record with camera sensors. So on paper, it sounds like it's going to be a pretty exciting camera. The Xperia Z5 Premium is running on Android 5.1.1 Lollipop with Sony's Xperia UI, which keeps a mostly stock Android experience, but there are some slight customizations like these small apps for easier multitasking and the PlayStation integration, which is really great if you are a gamer. The G4 is also running Lollipop and comes with the very familiar GUI interface and it hasn't changed all that much. And many of LG's features have been retained ranging from the useful features like not code and multi-window to the not so useful like smart bulletin and smart notice. But there you have it guys. This has been a quick comparison of the Z5 Premium versus the LG G4. Both of these devices are very different, but they're great in their own way. So definitely let us know down below which one you prefer. And also stay tuned for the rest of our IFA 2015 coverage. There's definitely a lot more to come.